World View stops next in the U.S., where traveling at 35,000 feet is not uncommon. While the plane may be the way to go today, there was a time when the ship was hit. Frank Buckley has our story. Pier 82, Philadelphia. This is the United States, once the fastest ship on the seas, now an aging relic, rusting and faded, stripped of her glory, gutted and empty. The United States was a symbol of America in the 1950s and 60s, a monument to bold thinking, an engineering marvel. She was made of aluminum and other non-flammable materials. Her hull design, propulsion system, and top speed, top secret until the late 1970s. The civilian ocean liner, also a potential troop transport. She was longer than the Titanic, five city blocks long, taller than any passenger ship, 17 stories from keel to funnel. And she was fast, achieving 44 knots. In her first transatlantic crossing, the United States set a record, besting Queen Mary's time by hours. At last, we had a real champion. A young Frank Brainerd, then a maritime reporter, traveled aboard Big U, as she was called, and wrote a book about the ship. He remains one of the ship's strongest supporters. But what do we lose if we lose? We, we lose our, our heritage, our maritime heritage. Oh, it'd be criminal to scrap it. Absolutely terrible. More on the promenade deck, and this is where every famous person that ever took this ship would have walked. Robert Westover is heading up the effort to save the United States. He'd like to restore these spaces to their original state, to make the first class lounges and state rooms accessible to all classes of people as a museum. And if we lose her, she's irreplaceable. There was never another United States built. This is the only one, and if she goes, that's it. We'll never have another SS United States. 